Two more questions from this side. Kiki, Corey, and Eric, you play siblings in the film. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your characters working together, working with Macy Gray, to create a family on screen for brotherly love. Well, I mean, I've been a fan of Corey since I was a kid. I mean, he auditioned for Akilah and the V, and I was like, I'm going to marry this man. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've known Corey for a really long time. And then Eric I just met, uh, you know, because of Brotherly Love. But immediately there was, uh, I think because of how much we all love the script, we immediately had a, co a connection to one another uh, because the same thing brought us there, the heart of the movie and the story being told in the most authentic way possible. And we got to spend a lot of time on set. You know, when you're doing an, an, an independent film, uh, you get a lot more free time. <laughs> and you also uh, get time to spend with the cast and understand, okay, how can I bring this character to life in the most authentic way? And there will be times where I will bounce ideas off of Eric, or I'll bounce ideas off of Corey of like, what do you think my character would say? And I think that's how our relationship built and um, is what made to me, when I look at the film, a very genuine relationship yes. of siblings. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it was awesome to work with Macy when she when she stepped on set, you know, you just got this vibe that there was this presence. And the most awesome part about working with her is that, you know, she's willing to go wherever you need her to go for your performance to be, you know, the best that it can be. And I remember the first time I saw her, I just went over and I laid on top of her, you know, just just like to, and she and she and she started playing with my head just before she knew my name. You know what I mean? That's that's the level of professionalism that she brings to, you know, to her work, which is why it's so good. And that's the same thing with Corey also. Corey, at every turn, gave me the advice that I needed at that moment and knew how to deliver the information. So as someone who was his first time working on set um, for, um, well, not my first time working on set, but being in the position that I am on that set, on this set in particular, having somebody like Corey, having somebody like Kiki, having somebody like Macy, you know, that just was doing their best to make sure that I was working well was awesome. Yeah, um, this is a funny story. I remember when Macy showed up on set, you couldn't call her by her name. Oh, you yeah. had to call her by her yeah, name. Right. That's right. So, That's right. I think she said she was leaving, right? Yeah. So I, I was like, well, all right, is she ready? So it was kind of cool. But um, working with these guys and this, this cast, um, it was amazing because everybody, uh, they worked hard. They were professionals. And when you're shooting an independent film, it starts as an independent film, you're on a tight schedule. So every day counts, every minute counts. So I don't care. I'm like, we got to get it, and everyone has to put like their best foot forward because you know you don't have the luxury of like a big budget. So and um, you actually became a big brother of this. I became a big brother, so it's kinda like this, you know, you're gonna get the truth with me, like in everything and you're gonna get the passion, but it's just like this because I really care about the art more than anything and I and I put my heart and soul to this and so did everybody and um like I said, um it was a great family environment but when it was time to work Everyone showed up and did their jobs, and uh, that was a great experience to be a part of. So, very thankful for that. One last question before we open it up. Kiki and Quincy, your characters are com complicated and intense. Mm -hmm. Did you know each other before shooting? What was it like working together, having to create chemistry for the screen? It, luckily, we've known <coughs> each other for a long, for a big part of our lives. I met Quincy when I was, I was probably like, what, 14 years 14, old? 14, yeah. And um, we've always been friends, but it was very shocking to me when I, I remember he called me, he's like, yes, yeah, so I want to reintroduce myself. I'm like, Quincy, what you call me? What you call me to talk about? He's like, you know, I, I come to call you because I have to, he's so grand <laughs> in his delivery. That's one thing I have to know about him. He's like, I have to call and reintroduce myself. I'm Chris. I'm like, Chris? At first I didn't get it. And I'm saying, oh boy, you playing old boy in the movie. And so, <laughs> And we found out he came. Oh, I tell you, he blew my wig back. I said, I'm Quincy, I never knew. When we did our first, I, the first thing we shot is like the first time actually that Jackie and Chris meet. And he was such a giving actor. And it was very, it, it, that's like the best thing you can ask for, that somebody that's able to give as well as receive. And it's, it was a fun game. And I realized right in that moment, oh, this was going to be much like our friendship, a give and take, a, a call and response, and very fun, playful. Yeah. We were able to find so many colors with the help of Jamal and these characters that were on the page and that we created in the moment. Just because of that, that um, the ego wasn't there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was just like, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's trick. Let's, you know, what you think of this? What you think of that? And it was really fun. It was fun to work with. Yeah, I think I think I think um, you know having that previous relationship obviously is nothing but a gift, mm -hmm. you know, um, and being able to just you know come to an unfamiliar town and then kind of you know be with some people who you're familiar with that kind of sets everything at that comfortable state where it's like you know we came to work but then it's like we all so close they don't even feel like working anymore and it just came such a, a 
friendship and the camaraderie, you know, between the whole cast was, you know, just super amazing, you know, and, um, you know, Kiki's a veteran, you know, she done Stop. been out of here, she, she doing it, you know what I mean, it's like, me, this be my first one going up against her, of course, there was a lot of pressure, I was, you know, like, how am I gonna, like, it's Kiki Palmer, you know, how am I gonna, you know, be, be, at, be, be at her, I, I was, I was like, gosh, like, can I get somebody link? It's good, <laughs> you know, but you know, it, it, great, it definitely was a blessing. She helped me out, you know, and I think, I think I said, you know, knowing her definitely, you know, brought that side of me as an actor that, you know, couldn't have been, you know, brought out, I guess, if you were, you know, somebody random, you know, that, 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 uh, yeah, that history helped. So thank you, Kiki. Listen, I don't mean to interrupt, but I want to say, I want to thank um, Queen, Absolutely. Flavor Unit, uh, so I came all the producers who yeah. were very, you know, pivotal in making this film come to life. And then Charlie Mack, he was there in Philadelphia, like every day, like yeah. making sure everything was in order. So we couldn't have done it without him, Yan Lee, all the beautiful producers, Ron, definitely. Jacob, over Jacob. There chilling. Yeah. Jacob's trying to so, hide. We, we are, we I mean, it was definitely a collaborative effort, and it was teamwork, and that's how you make the dream work. So we we did that. So thank you guys. I was actually surprised that um, after we finished. I talk to everybody. There's not a week that goes by without talking to one of these people. It's, it's really genuine, and I didn't know it was going to be that way coming into it because this is my first time, you know, on the big stage. And I kind of thought, you know, I'd see Kiki after the family maybe once a year or Corey, whenever, but we really, it became a family. And I know it's cliche, but um, it resonates on film. It does, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And Jamal's so calm, like, Jamal got this calm, cool, like, like if something going crazy, Jamal not going to let you know it, like, so that's why it's like, you know. Only you'll know it's because you'll see some sweat. <laughs> right. <laughs> you like, everything okay, Jamal? Because Charlie knows what goes on in the inside. <laughs>